Can you share your personal story with a prospect in a way that is effective and it makes them want to join you even if you are not successful in your business? I get asked this question quite a bit. People say, Bob, I'm afraid to share my story because I've been doing this for a year, two years, three years. I'm afraid to let people know that because I think it's going to make them not want to join me. They're going to, they're not going to take me seriously. And I know there are so many of you that are caught in this trap where you believe that your lack of results makes your story not worth sharing. And I'm telling you, nothing could be further from the truth. So in my video today, I'm going to teach you how to share your personal story in a way that makes people genuinely excited and interested to hear what it is that you're doing, even if you don't have any results. So stick around. Hey, Bob Heilig here, your virtual upline. Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about this idea of your personal story. So here's the interesting thing about your story. Your story is actually not even about you. It sounds, it sounds kind of funny to say, right, that your personal story is not about you. Well, it's actually not. See, here's what your personal story really is. It is a tool that you have in your business to do one of two things. Number one, it's to connect with and relate to the prospects that you're talking to. See, your story, if you could think of it, you're sitting on either sides of this river. Your story becomes the bridge that helps your prospect cross over to be able to see things through your point of view. So your story, first and foremost, is really just a tool to let somebody else know that, hey, I'm like you. So that if you're dealing with somebody that you don't know very well, a cold market prospect, it helps them start to see themselves in you and that helps them begin to trust you, which will give you a better chance of actually getting you know, them to join you. The second thing your story does is this. It creates curiosity for what it is you're about to share with them. See, if you can effectively learn to share your story in a way that builds trust, that helps you relate to someone and creates curiosity where they're like, wow, I'm genuinely intrigued to hear what it is you're doing. Your story literally can become the most important tool that you have in your business. But here's the problem is most of us get so hung up on our results. We think that our success or our lack of success is the number one thing that's going to determine if somebody says yes or no. And there are many of you out there that your confidence in your belief is killed when it comes to recruiting because of this. Look, I bet a lot of you out there, you do a pretty good job getting customers. And here's the reason why. Because when you're sharing your product with somebody, your belief is founded in the products. Like, you know the products are great. So when you're talking to people, that comes across and that's why they buy from you. But when it comes to your business and it comes to recruiting and sponsoring, what are you really offering? You're offering yourself. And let's be honest here. You don't really believe in yourself because you keep looking to your past and you keep looking to your current lack of results. I've not been able to build a team. I've recruited people and they failed. You've attached yourself to their failures and your confidence in yourself is completely destroyed. And that comes across. This is the reason why people are not joining you. So what we have to learn is we have to learn how to start to build our confidence and belief in ourselves, because that's what people really are attracted to. And part of that is learning how to share your story in a way where you learn that your results actually don't matter. See, we've already talked about your story does one of two things. The first thing is it helps you relate to people. So how can we relate to people in our story? Well, in our business, we teach this thing called Love, Serve, Grow. And one of the biggest shifts that we help people make is letting go of the mindset of a salesperson that so many people in this profession have and adopting what we call the mindset of a paid problem solver. See, when you let go of the sales mindset that's keeping so many of you stuck and you adopt a service mindset, here's where everything begins to change for you. The primary goal of you having a conversation with somebody is not getting them to sign up with you. It's genuinely becoming interest and in finding out if they have a problem that your product and or business can help them solve. That's what we mean by a paid problem solver. 
So when we talk about sharing our story to relate to someone else, here's what we do. We start speaking to the problems that we know that we want to help someone with, and we share how these are things that we have actually struggled with ourselves. So let me give you a good example. So I have a background in medical sales. When I first joined network marketing, the thing that attracted me to the profession was that even though I earned a nice income, I didn't have much time freedom, and I was working in a profession that wasn't giving me a lot of security because there were a lot of changes and you know, my coworkers were getting laid off and the company that I worked for every year, they were changing our compensation plan and I had to work harder and harder just to make the same amount of money. And I knew that all that stuff was really relatable. So when I used to talk to a prospect, I wouldn't talk about, hey, look what I've done, look what I've made, because guess what? My first year, I didn't recruit a single person. I thought my lack of results would make my story ineffective until I understood this idea of connecting people around shared problems. See, that's a million-dollar secret. We connect with people through shared problems. So here's what I learned how to do. When I was talking to somebody, I'd say, look, I came across this business and I got really excited because I have background in medical sales. I'm in medical sales now. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but I'm, I just, I'm really frustrated because I find myself having to work harder and harder every single day just to make the same money. And the other thing is this, I earn a nice living, but I have no free time. And, and what I'm realizing is that Maybe this isn't the thing that's going to give me what I want in my life. And I just started being open to maybe there's something different or better out there. I wanted to find a way that I could finally get paid what I'm worth. I wanted to find a way that, that I could determine right the amount of effort that I was going to put in in order to create the kind of income that I wanted. I just wanted more control in my life. And at the end of the day, I said, hey, wouldn't it be nice to have some more free time? not to have to work so hard, not to have to work that second job, that third job. And why I'm excited is because I believe I found the answer. And that was my story. Now, I want you to notice something. I didn't talk about my results. I didn't talk about how much money I made. I didn't talk about the car bonus I had, right? I wasn't focusing on that because I knew that my story was, was just there to connect with people. And when I started understanding, the more that I spoke to problems, and look, maybe you don't necessarily have that story, but you could share other people's stories. You know, one of my, some of my customers, you know, they struggle with health and gut health and, you know, they have fatigue and their skin is not bad and they suffer with, you know, not having, uh, their mood is not great. And I realized that there's actually, I was introduced to this product that helped me, but then I started helping other people through giving them, educating them on gut health and improving them and helping them feel better and be in a better mood and have better energy and better looking skin, right? So what I'm doing is I'm connecting and I'm speaking to problems. But I wanna come back to my story and I wanna come back to your story. Your results don't matter. Your results don't matter. See, if you can connect with somebody on the level of problems, and if I tell you I genuinely think I found the solution, here's the thing. A really good, legitimate prospect isn't going to care whether or not it's even worked for you because you want to know what? They're going to be confident enough in their own ability that if you give them an opportunity and you give them a vehicle that they're going to take it and they're going to run with it. Now, you want to know who does care about your results? People that probably wouldn't do it anyway. And they're just going to use that as an excuse. But I'm telling you this, a big reason why people keep asking, well, how are you doing with this thing? How much money are you making? Because you're trying to sell them. You're trying to talk about the features and the benefits and it's so great and it's got this and that. When you start speaking to problems and you understand that your story really has value regardless because you want to know what? You might not have the big results yet, but you want to know what you have that most people don't. You've got a vehicle that can get you there. And I'm telling you, just sharing with somebody that I am genuinely excited because for the first time in my life, I can see that I am on a path of having a solution. I can see that I finally am going to be able to get rid of these problems. That is so powerful because most people out there are living lives of quiet desperation because they've got these problems. They've got these worries that are keeping them up at night, but they don't have a possible solution. So at the end of the day, here's what I want you to do. I want you to start having the confidence and the belief that your story does matter. 
Look, your story is such an important tool. The only thing you learn need to learn how to do is you need to learn how to start sharing it in a way that helps you relate to people and creates curiosity. Look, here's one of the most important things I could I ever learned about um, you know, just sales and marketing. People don't buy products and they don't buy opportunities. They buy solutions to problems. So in your story, speak to problems. Let people know, I've struggled with this. Can you And say to them, can you relate to that? And if they have any of those same challenges in their life, they're going to be like, yes, now you've connected with them. They're seeing themselves in you. They're trusting you. They're relating to you. Now you've got that bridge to get them over to your side. And you say, I am excited because I think I found the solution. And now they're curious and they want to find out more. And now you've got them where you need them to be able to have them look at what you're doing from a totally different context. This is the reason why I say your personal story is arguably the most important tool that you have in your business when it comes to recruiting and building a team. So that's my message for you today. I want to give you the confidence to know that your story does matter. Learn how to tell it in a way that accomplishes these goals Have belief in yourself. Stop looking to your past and your current lack of results. Look, your lack of results today is a reflection of your belief of yesterday. Let go of the past. Step into the future and know that if you're willing to do what I'm teaching you today, that you can create different and better results. So that's my message for you today. Hey, listen, if you got any value out of this video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. We're creating free uh, new content here every single week. But Uh, As always, take care. Bob Heilig here, your virtual upline.